Okay, got the wire. Uh, got the alternator all bolted up and wired in. So now I can see whether or not we get what we're supposed to get, which is I turn the key on, that light should light. And it does. Okay, so that's good. We weren't getting that before. So something I did fix something. So now the question is when I start it, will it start charging? Hopefully, there's enough juice left in the battery to start this thing. Okay, so I still got a light on. So that tells me it's not charging, and it's not. So now the question is if I pulse that to uh, 12 volts, will it uh, start charging? So I need a jumper wire. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run off of here with a rod 12 volts. Remember now, what am I? How did I do this before? Not working. Not working. Uh, if I touch this white wire to the red wire, then the ammeter goes way up. Uh, it's almost like I'm fully fielding it then, I guess. So I'm thinking maybe that regulator assembly on that alternator is bad. Hmm. Back to work on diagnosing this uh, alternator issue. Remember, I was able to look like I was able to get it to charge if I. Uh, put 12 volts on that wire, that field wire, but then it would stop charging the second I pulled it away, which didn't seem normal. Well, I got my test light, a little quicker to check with in the meter, and I noticed that the light lights when I put it right across the battery like this, but then if I ground it to the alternator and I touch it right here I get nothing and this connection should go right to the battery side of the alternator if I recall correctly through my fuse that I mounted in there so let's see if I ground to the battery I go right to that block. I'm not getting any 12 volt there. I no wonder why this isn't working. What the heck's going on here? That should. Oh, the key was on all this time? Oh, don't tell me that. Battery's not dead. What the heck's going on here? That should not, that should have 12 volts on it all the time, whether the key's on or the key's off. I gotta get under the dash and see what's going on. Well, I'm not picking up 12 volts anywhere under this dash, which means the ground must be lousy. So now I've got the lead of the meter of the uh, test light going directly to the negative post on the battery. So now, there we go, that's it, okay. So now I'm getting, yeah, now I'm getting the 12 volts where I should be getting it. Now, 
Let's see. Where's that battery grounded to? Let's see. Positive lead comes up to here. You can see that. Where's the negative lead go? Alright, so wait a minute. So if that's the case, then my uh, wire's not long enough to reach. Put it on the negative of the battery here, it's not long enough to reach all the way over to the positive terminal, bat terminal here. It's just a little short, so I'm going to just stick this wire on here. Hard to do this hold of the camera. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here. It makes no sense it's not light enough. Well, it looks like I got on the problem. I got a bad connection at the ammeter, it looks like, because that's where I'm losing the power. Like, I'm here, I just measure with the meter, and I'm getting, uh, what was I getting? Get a good ground here. There you go. Now I'm getting 12. A second ago, I was getting 2. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I still think it's a bad connection here. But the uh, ammeter, if I go on this side of the ammeter where the power's coming in from the battery, you can see I get the light to light. And if I go on this side and I touch the actual post of the uh, meter, the light lights. Then when I touch this copper connector on the big heavy white wire here, which is my feed down to the circuit breaker, I get nothing. I get nothing in there either. I get that off. A rusty nut. Okay, let's retest. Oh yeah, now we get the light. Well, the sun's shining on it, but now you can see the light's shining away. So now, I come down here, and I can see I got power now go into my red wire so now I should double check it with the alternator. So now if I ground it. Aha. Okay, so now we got a good connection here at the alternator. So I think I should retest. Okay, so again, key on and my idiot light is on, which is normal. And let's get the throttle up. Hopefully it's warm enough. The light's not going out, but let's see what happens if we touch this to 12 volts. Of course, you can't hear a word I'm saying when it's running, but what I want to do now is I'm going to pulse that field wire connection with 12 volts to see if it starts charging. Alright, so I'm on the uh, circuit breaker because I know I can pick up the 12 volts there and that I fixed my bad connection. And see, my idiot light's on, so when I put the 12 volts here, it should go out. And you'll notice it's staying out because now it's charging. Voila! I'm kind of back to the original setup I had when I had the other, uh, when I first put this alternator in here, before the diodes went south on it. So, that's working. I can tell just by the fact that the ammeter's gone way over, and it's actually slowed the engine a little bit. But I will verify that. Because now, my battery voltage should be above 12. There you go, 14 volts. Let's see how well it's regulating. Pretty good. Now if we could only get this thing to self-excite, 
which I know by changing to a different regulator I see in there I could do that. The question is do I want to get the correct regulator IC that will allow that alternator to excite itself at low RPM or do I just want to hook up a little momentary contact button and pulse 12 volts to it when I start the engine. 